Thank you, Chloe. Will the Minister make a statement on non-respiratory sleep disorders? Thank you for the question. It is important that the cause of non-respiratory sleep disorders is identified early, as there can be a wide range of underlying issues, ranging from diet, neuro neurological disorders or psychiatric disorders or more. The underlying cause will determine where the condition is best managed, but primary care will be the starting point for management. Uh, Thank you for that response. And as you say, as things stand at the moment, the majority of sleep disorders are treated across departments within our hospitals. There isn't a specialist centre for such disorders. Now, those who have these conditions are complaining about diagnosis and treatment for non-respiratory sleep disorders. Now, you referred to disorders emanating from neurological problems, for example. Now, diagnosis in Wales is very low in terms of conditions such as narcolepsy. Do you have any plans to improve diagnosis and treatment for such conditions in Wales? And what's the prospect of developing a specialist centre, particularly for that wide range of sleep disorders here in Wales? Uh, thank you for the, uh, for the follow-up question. I'm sure all of us uh, uh, all, of our, all of us at some point in our lives will suffer some sort of challenge with our sleep. Most of them do, though, pass, as I'm sure you know, with a, a house full of young children. Uh, but in terms of the particular disorders and the, the wider challenges, we know that narcolepsy is a particular challenge, uh, not just on sleep, but in daily life, and there's no current known cure. It's about managing the condition successfully. We do have uh, a tertiary centre in and around Bevan University Health Board, but I have asked the Neurological Conditions Delivery uh, Implementation Group consider to the greater emphasis we could have uh, on those who are affected by neurologically affected sleep uh, disorders. So there is work on train. We know it's an area we need to expand our understanding and then understand where and how we manage the condition and help and support people in the most effective way possible.